So the Vancouver Sevens competition has come to a close. And now this weekend we get the LA Sevens. Now Fiji didn't quite finish as high up in the rankings as they would have liked in Vancouver. But LA just around the corner. Perhaps this is where we see the Fijians pick up their first gold medal. But looking through at this side, they've gone with once again a very strong lineup. They've had a minor injury change, but we will mention that in a very short moment, but throughout this preview, we'll be looking through at their squad, the key players to watch out for, their upcoming fixtures, and then also at the end, a prediction of how far we think Fiji will go. But looking through at their side, it is going to be as follows. They've got Josisi Batitaringa. Now, the one change that they have made compared to Vancouver is there is no Kiminelli Rasaku. That is due to an injury. So because of that, Felipe Satoranga actually comes into the side and he will take Rasaku's place in the team. Jeremiah Matana still there. Sivu Mothinothangi. Ponipati Logan Amasi, a man who thoroughly impressed me throughout the Vancouver Sevens. Josefa Talatholo. Filippo Bukayaro. Viliami Naukalsa. He got a few opportunities and actually made the most of them, scoring tries in multiple games. And I hope he gets a few more minutes throughout the LA Sevens, Solomone Rangi, also Alusio Vakadranu, Napoleoni Balatha, Terio Valawa, who of course is still able to have such a good impact when coming off the bench for the Fijians, or if he is in the starting side, is able to create some good opportunities early. And the last man, Rapati Riri, who also had some good moments throughout the Vancouver Sevens. But the key players for this side, I mean, I'm looking at those big men, such as Sevo Mothinothangi and Josefa Talatholo, and those two, I think, could be absolutely crucial for Fiji. It wasn't so much that they got out-muscled in the Vancouver Sevens. It was just in those little moments where they needed a big break, but they couldn't find one of their biggest players. I think that that was what was really hurting them, and the scoreboard started to show that as the competition did wear on. Also... Of course, Vailawa, I mentioned the X factor that he brings off the bench. Him alongside someone like Afalipo Bukayaro. I think they will be four very important keys for Fiji throughout this LA Sevens. But now, looking through at their upcoming fixtures. For Fiji, their first game will be up against Great Britain. Taking place at 3.54pm New Zealand time on Saturday. They haven't played them in recent times. Didn't go head to head with them in the Vancouver Sevens. So it could be quite an entertaining game. Their next contest, it will be up against the Canadians. That has taken place at 6.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. So with the LA Sevens, in comparison to Vancouver, the layout is actually quite different. LA, you get one game on the first day, you come back on the second day, and you play three matches, including your quarterfinal, if you do make it that far. And then on the last day, you got the semifinal and also the final, whereas for Vancouver, it was 2-2-2 two, two, and two for the day format. So, of course, Fiji just having that first game up against Great Britain on day one. Day two, they first of all face the Canadians. And then their last game of the group stage in day two, they are going to be taking on France. That is at 11.22 a.m. New Zealand time on the Sunday. So, as you can see, games are pretty compact throughout that Sunday. And hopefully, fatigue will not be a big factor for any of the seven sides but now we are up to that stage of a prediction how far we think fiji will be able to go in the la sevens now the last competition i predicted fiji to win it and that didn't happen of course my predictions are normally a mile off i didn't expect fiji to get knocked out in the quarterfinals although in their defense they were knocked out by new zealand did do very decently making it right through to the final of the competition but in this one LA, I think Fiji are going to do a little bit better than we have seen in the past leg. And I think that Fiji are going to be able to make it to the final. I'm hopeful anyway. They've got a great side. The younger players are starting to step up. Whether it is Naikalsa, whether that's Rapati Riri, and a few of these other guys like Logan Amasi, who haven't had a huge amount of experience on the seventh circuit, but are slowly becoming key players throughout the amount of time that we have seen them in action so i'm saying fiji make it to the final not sure who they would be playing of course with the sevens layout could be anyone at this given time but i'm sure i'm hopeful anyway that fiji have a very good competition but thank you all very much for tuning in we will be live on the channel covering all of fiji's games with the commentary so be sure to keep an eye out 
for that. Let me know how far you think Fiji will go in the comments and also their leading try scorer for this LA7s competition. Be sure to let me know your predictions down below as well. But thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all for the next one.